Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Black Boy from AZ, and today I'm gonna be giving y'all some things that will instantly make you more attractive, especially to women, man. Now, listen, the first thing that y'all can do, bro, is to get a skin routine. Now, listen, taking care of your skin, bro, is not feminine, it's not gay. I don't care what anybody says. I was one of those people that used to think that if I sat up here for 10 minutes trying to get my skin right, that it was weird and it was sus. In reality, it is not. You see, because the guys that are going to try to get on you and call you weird for taking care of your skin, these are the same dudes that get no type of woman at all. In all reality, women actually like dudes who take care of their skin, who have nice glowing looking skin, you know what I'm saying? So you guys want to have a skin routine that you do every single night and day to make sure that your skin is looking right, it's looking flawless. Now some tips for you guys I'm going to drop in this video is if you guys deal with acne and stuff like that, I recommend this face wash or anything with benzoyl peroxide. This is going to like kill all of that acne on your face and I even think it helps with dark spots too because it kind of bleaches your skin. So it's not in a bad way though, but yes, use benzoyl peroxide to wash your face and also as a moisturizer and a serum, you want to use ninocyanamide or vitamin C serum. This will help fade away your dark spots and even out your skin tone. And my biggest tip is to make sure you're using an FPF on your face, guys, because listen, when you are going outside and you're letting the sun do damage to your skin, bro, without sunscreen on your face, bro, you're literally damaging your skin. And this is what's really killing y'all skin and making you have this hyperpigmentation and all types of just blemishes on your skin. So yes, guys, making sure that you have a nice skincare routine will definitely make you more attractive. You don't know how many compliments I've gotten for people saying that I got nice skin, your skin's glowing, all of that. And it's really simple, anybody could do it and anybody could really take their skin from here to here and make themselves more attractive. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is the little things and keeping up with your grooming. So stuff like your eyebrows, bro. As y'all could see, bro, my eyebrows are way better than they used to be. They're not perfect, and I'm actually gonna give y'all a little gem and a little tip to grow them. You're gonna wanna use a serum called Rapid Brow. Now you can go ahead and get this on Amazon. And what you're going to do is you're going to apply this to your eyebrows to make them grow in thicker and darker. Now, along with that, you want to keep up with your grooming on not only your eyebrows, but your whole face. So you want to make sure that your facial hair is cut off your face. If you have like a goatee, uh, mustache combo, you want to make sure you're lining up your mustache consistently and making sure that your peach fuzz on the face right here ain't growing in looking weird. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes will go outside, bro. And they beards is unkept, they got facial hair on their face, they got a little unibrow right there, and it's making them so much more unattractive. And it just honestly looks like you're not taking care of yourself at all. So literally by you simply taking 10 minutes every week, shave your face up, you you do your eyebrows, you you know what I'm saying, maybe you dye your your you dye your hairline and your beard or whatever to make it look a little darker. That's another thing. Make sure you get consistent haircuts. Look at guys, look at my hair, guys. I just lined myself up today. Look at that, guys. Like it's not that hard to learn how to do this yourself. And like I said, this will make you much more attractive and it'll get you more compliments and you'll look more put together. Instead of that dude that's just walking outside like he don't even care about himself. Like some of y'all literally look homeless. Like y'all look homeless when you go outside and you're going into these stores, bro. It's like, what are you doing, bro? Like get a grip of yourself. You're not these celebrities that can get away with going outside looking rough, bro. Like nah, you gotta present the best version of yourself at all times. Especially in this world where it's hard hard for us men sometimes, bro, to get ahead, bro. You got to be prevent presenting the best version of yourself. And I'm doing that. I make sure my hair's cut once a week, making sure that I'm groomed up, making sure that my eyebrows are darker because having darker eyebrows is going to make you more attractive. And it's all in all making sure that I'm taking care of myself and making sure I'm well kept and well groomed. The next thing that's going to make you way more attractive, guys, is hitting the gym. Listen, if you're a man and you're not hitting the gym whatsoever, bruh, what are you doing, bruh? Listen, hitting the gym will not only make your body and appearance much better, bro. I truly believe that hitting the gym will give you a mindset that will apply to other areas in your life. For me personally, I think starting to hit the gym and change my body and work out changed my life because that discipline and seeing myself go through that transformation allowed me to have that same confidence to go about other things in my life to where in a point now, I'm 21 years old with my own apartment, bro. 
And, you know, it's only up from here, bro. I'm manifesting big things in the future, bro. You know what I'm saying? I will be that successful guy. I will be able to help take care of my family, bro. I will, you know what I'm saying, have a successful life, bro. And I really think that that stock of that confidence and that discipline really started for me hitting the gym. Along with that, the body gain that you get when you start to hit the gym and build a nice body is literally crazy, guys. Listen, bro. When I started to hit the gym and I put on some muscle, bro, I don't look too big right now, bro, because I don't have a pump or anything. But when I started to put on some muscle, when I was lean, bro, my goodness, bro. Listen, women love to see that, bro, because here's what they see when they see a guy that's in shape and takes care of himself and goes to the gym. It's like, damn, this guy can protect and he can provide, you know, if he looks after himself like that, like, is he going to look after me like that? You know what I'm saying? That's what they think in their head. Except this guy that's this lazy slob. He He's fat. He got a belly. His shit hanging over a gut and shit. And he can't even hit the gym three times a week, bro. That's literally bare minimum. You cannot create four hours, four hours a week. You cannot create four hours a week for you to hit the gym and better your life and better your body, bro. That kind of shows a lot about you as a person and as a man. And women don't want that. They want a dude that takes care of themselves, has value in making sure that they're strong and they have a nice physique, eating well, stuff like that, bro. So making sure you get your body right, bro, is going to give you so much game and make you so much more attractive. It's unbelievable. By the way, y'all, if you guys are trying to get some guidance and get some help with getting in shape and building your dream body, I currently just launched my Limitless Body Blueprint. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and DM me access on Instagram and so we can try to get you started and get you in the program. Fourth thing, bro, is listen, you guys need to fix your fashion, guys. Listen, bro. A lot of y'all be going outside, bro, and cooked ass clothes bruh y'all y'all refuse to spend any money on your clothes and then you wonder why you can't get no girls you you can't get no dates and stuff like that it's like look at yourself you literally went out in some sweatpants and some nike shorts or a nike shirt and and and, and just no bro like no you gotta you gotta invest in your clothing bruh it was shit a lot of you guys that y'all want the best results but y'all want to put the least amount of effort. It don't work like that, bro. Listen, get you $300, $400, bro. Go to H&M, go to Boohoo, man. Go to Sheen, go to Timu. They got some good clothes on there. I got some fits off of there. And buy yourself a new wardrobe. All you really need is three good pair of pants, a black pair of jeans, a nice light wash pair of jeans. And then you can just have a mixture of a few other pairs of jeans, like a chino pant and stuff like that. Three, three or four good pants. You need some basic tees, some dress tees, some basic colors and stuff like that. So you can mix, mix and match them. And then also you guys are going to need like three, four pair of shoes. I, I recommend a white pair of forces, some dress shoes. And then you got, you know, just some shoes here and there where you can just wear with anything like that are neutral colors and stuff like that. And being able to put on a nice fit, bro, listen, when I was ugly in high school, bro, the one thing that I always had going for me, bro, is I always knew how to put on a fit, bro. I'd have the polo on with some jeans, bro, some J's, bro, and I'd be clean. I'd be looking clean. And a good thing and another thing to note is to make sure your shoes are clean. You guys remember how in school we were judged about what shoes you had on your feet and if your shoes was crusty, bro, they was, you was getting cooked, it's the same way now. You got to have nice shoes. That's the first thing a woman looks at is your shoes. So if your shoes are cooked, bro, she's going to think you're cooked and that's not a good look at all. And so, yes, invest in your outfits, bro. Put on some outfits. Make sure you're going outside the house in some fitted clothing. At least, you know, don't go outside in little trash bags. If you're going to have to wear baggy clothing, you want to have a mix. You want to have either some baggy pants and a tighter shirt or a loose shirt and some slimmer pants or vice versa so you can make sure that your proportions are right and you're looking good. Now the last thing guys is gonna make you so much more attractive is smelling good. Bro, you don't know how many girls I, I can, I done pulled in the past. I have a girlfriend now, you know, I'm a loyal man, but I got a lot of girls and I got a lot of compliments just off of how I smelled, bro. And I'll actually drop some gems on y'all right now, some secret colognes that, you know, I've used in the past that got me compliments. If y'all want the real, real sauce, though, join my Patreon down below. But let me give y'all some sauce on that cologne stuff real quick. I love y'all so much. I'm going to give y'all some free sauce. So you're going to want a summer cologne. You're going to want a winter cologne. And then you're just going to, uh, you're going to want a date cologne pretty much. So... I'm going to show y'all my summer cologne, and you could kind of wear this in the spring, too. Somewhere in spring, you can mix and match. Now, this is Club Dino Wheat. Now, to this day, this is probably my most complimented fragrance. Very strong. 
It's very good, bro. The opening scent is a little crazy. It's a little lemony, but once that settles down, bro, you're golden, man. The next one is gonna be for winter time as the winter season is coming up, bro. This is another compliment magnet and it's at 9 p.m., bro. Listen, bro, y'all get this stuff. Trust me, just trust me on this stuff at right now, at 9 p.m. By the way, these are all affordable too. 30, $30, you can't you can't buy a cologne for $30, you don't deserve to be getting hoes. I'm sorry, bro, simple as that. If you can't buy a cologne for $30, $40, bro, you don't deserve to be getting girls, bro. Now my date night cologne, bro, is gonna be any variation of the Latafa Camera. I have Latafa Camera Kawa. Now, bro, this is gonna, trust me, bro, this is gonna make her wanna take off your clothes, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice, sweet scent. Literally smells like a nice baked dessert. This is great for the winter time. Um, if I was, if it was summer, bro, I don't know if I'd wear this, but if you guys do want other cologne recommendations for my full collection, you're gonna have to look at my Patreon down below in the description. Now, anyways, y'all, that's gonna be it for the five things that are gonna make you more attractive to women. If you guys have any questions or any video ideas for me to do, leave them down below. But that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Brent, and I'm out, man.